Thank you for joining me this evening. Um, tonight I'm going to do a little bit of range of motion with some sweeping, sweeping motions. So, uh, but we're going to get started on our back, and uh, then we'll we'll go from there. So usually we do some upper body work, but today's class is going to start on our back in a reclined position, and uh, we'll kind of work through that. And you may remember from the email that I sent out that we're focused on. Um, letting in, letting flow, and letting go. So you might keep those words in mind as you settle down. So find a comfortable position on your back. Let your arms and legs rest a little bit away from the side of your body and bring your attention to the weight of your body. Feel the weight of your body landing right here. Take a nice full breath in and hold at the top. And then slowly let it exhale from your body. Letting the breath in. Letting it flow out and letting tension go with it. Feel these nice full breaths, bringing air into the body, filling up and then sipping in just a bit more for a nice fullness and then release. Letting in the breath, letting it begin to flow out, and then letting go of tension. We cannot take another breath in and let we, unless we let go of the one we're holding. This is the case in life as well. Oftentimes we can't take the next experience in if we're still clinging to a past. Breathing nice and full. And a long, slow exhale. Taking that for a couple more breaths. Then returning to your natural breath, bringing your attention over the heart and the breath over the heart and just checking in with your own experience. Really honoring what is here for you. There's no competition, nothing to, ex um, nothing to achieve. This is about caring for yourself. So the felt sense, what is the felt sense in the body? As you check in, just continuing to bring kindness to it and wishing yourself contentment and peace. Perhaps setting an intention for contentment or peace or joy. And then go ahead and bring your heels right behind your hips. Your arms can be out a little bit to the side and we'll lift the left heel and then begin to make some circles with the left knee. Just kind of bring some range of motion to the left hip. And then switching the direction of the left knee so you're circling in the other direction. Try to make that circle nice and full and go as slow or as fast as is comfortable for you. If your joints are sensitive, then go slower. Add the left hand to the sky and begin making circles together with the knee and the hand. And this should rotate the shoulder and the hip. Couple more and then switch direction. Bringing that slow, gentle movement to that joint. And slowing down and bringing that left hand and left foot down to the mat. Bring the, the right foot up and begin to make some circles with the right knee. And as you go along, you can extend the foot just a little bit as you're making the circle with the right knee. And then change direction. 
breathing with this and then add the right hand making circles with both the hip and the shoulder on the right nice and slow and breathing and switching direction and slowly coming to a stop bringing your toes over the edge of the mat and gently let the knees drift left and right back and forth a few times just getting the hip joints and the low spine comfortable and then plant the heels again behind the hips and we'll take a bridge here so let the spine be long bring your attention to the belly and push the small of the back towards the earth Squeeze the glutes and lift the hips. Press into the heels and the shoulders as you bridge up. Draw the knees a little bit together. And on the exhale, roll the spine back down. And then gently roll over to the side. And come on up to a seated posture. And we're going to continue to take a little bit more of these uh, positions where we're swirling joints a little bit so bringing your knees off to one side and having a little space behind you and just feeling the kind of the stretch of the knees going over to one direction and then drop your hips back so you can switch the knees to the other direction feel that lift through the heart and drop back and switch again lift through the heart drop back and switch, inhale, drop back and switch, inhale, exhale as you drop back and switch, inhale here. And now we're going to add on to this. So take both hands the direction that the knee is going and walk your hands over to that same direction. You can use a block if you'd like to to bring yourself to the block or you may even be able to go a little deeper and bring your elbows down, coming into what's called deer or fawn position. Really engaging in that twist. And then walk your hands open again. Bring your hand over to the back foot, coming into that mermaid position. Lengthen through the spine. Inhale as you rotate back into that deer or fawn position. Exhale as you deepen. Inhale as you come through the twist, and exhale as you twist open into mermaid. One more time, inhale into deer, and then out to mermaid. Exhale there. And then we'll end by placing the, that hand, the back hand behind you, and sweep the front hand up to 12 o'clock as you squeeze the glutes and lift through the hips. And let it down. Inhale it up. And one more time. Bring it down and up. And then release. Bring your hands behind you and switch the direction of the knees and we'll take it off to the other side and repeat these movements on this side. So whichever direction your knees are facing, walk your hands over there into a deep twist coming down onto your elbows. Inhale as you move and exhale as you come into mermaid inhale as you move exhale coming into deer inhale back to mermaid and exhale in the twist one more time back to deer slowly moving to mermaid feel the length of the spine here and exhale Bring the back hand behind you, and then sweep that hand up as you squeeze the glutes, 12 o'clock. Exhale it down. Inhale it up, and down. One more time, up, and down. Okay, and then we're gonna take one more little challenge. This is kind of like, um, a little bit like a extended side plank, but we're coming at it from a seated position. So just extend your feet out and let your toes rock a little bit left and right. 
And if it feels comfortable for you to sit down a little bit and even roll the hips left and right. And then we're going to bring both feet off to the left, plant that back hand, and sweep up into that side plank, extended leg side plank, or fallen triangle. Bring it down and up, down and up, and all the way down. And we'll come over to the other side, so maybe t turn your toes a few times. And then rotate both heels off, to, or both toes off to the other side. Plant the back hand and sweep up to 12 o'clock. Squeeze the glutes and lift and back down and up. And take it as many times or as few times as is right for you. That's the most challenging, right? <laughs> so you can also always do it, of course, on in the 90-90 position. All right, take a nice good breath and let's come on to our hands and knees. Find a little cat cow posture here. This is so important for the spine, just to undulate the spine and get a little movement happening here. And start just with the pelvic bowl rocking and then let that kind of begin to move through the body as you activate the spine, getting that wave going through the spine. Wag the tail a little bit. Say hello to your spine and your body, how it's moving. A little barrel roll one direction and then the other. And then come into your table. Press your right heel back left thumb to the sky and take your gaze over the top of your mat. Feel that length there and sweep off center a little and exhale. Inhale out. Exhale home. And again. Bring the left hand down. Bend that right leg so the knee is up and then lift it up kind of like in a fire hydrant position. Exhale the, the knee towards the tricep. Inhale it back to fire hydrant. Exhale towards tricep. Back and forth a few times. Follow your breath. Once more. Then drop the ball of the foot back and take your calf stretch, getting a little bit of a length on the back of that foot or the back of that leg. And then let your knee come down to the mat and we'll come to the other side. Finding your table, a little cat cow perhaps, and then extend your left heel out and the right thumb to the sky. Inhale off center, exhale long, back and forth gently with the breath. Really feel into the body as you're sweeping away and back home. Bring the right hand down, bend the left knee and stack the hips a little bit. On the exhale, bring the knee towards the tricep, exhale it out for a fire hydrant and in, back and forth a few times. Exhale that knee towards the tricep. And then bring that left leg long, and drop the ball of the foot Lengthen out the back of that leg. Perfect. Okay, drop the hips back a little bit. Crawl the fingers forward for a little child's pose. Then tuck the toes. Walk the hands back and come into your camel. Lifting that one side down, one side up. And switch. And switch. And switch. We're doing lots of spinal twists tonight. Walk the hands forward. Inhale the right hand up and then thread the needle underneath the left, bringing that right ear and shoulder towards the earth. Inhale that hand into the standing position and the left arm, thread the needle. Left shoulder and ear towards the earth. Inhale it back up. Exhale towards child's pose. Inhale, bring the left hand back to the heel. Sweep the right arm to the sky. Squeeze the glutes camel, half camel. And then on the other side. 
once again each side and then bring the hands down to the mat taking a little cat cow action again tuck your toes bring your heels together and walk your hands back towards your knees and then press into the palms to really push those heels back and get a good stretch on the bottoms of the feet. Then untuck the toes and just lift the knees a little bit here. We're stretching out the different parts of the lower leg. Tuck the toes again, push into the hands to stretch the bottoms of the feet. And when you're ready, come into your squat. Push the hips high, option to use a block or keep the knees soft. Pedal out the back of the legs. Inhale, come to a half lift, lengthen out the spine. Exhale and soften. Enjoying a nice warm evening here. A nice yoga practice. Inhale, halfway lift. And then walk your hands all the way up coming to standing. Let's take just a little uh, balance posture right here at this point now that we're on our feet standing again. So just come to a position on your mat or on the floor where you feel like your feet are pretty sturdy. Let's bring all the weight to one leg and we'll start with our tree posture. Just feel yourself lift up into that tree then we'll move to eagle. So take that leg that's in tree and gently bring it up and over and that same arm underneath the other arm, coming to eagle. So one leg over, one arm under, wrap the leg in the arm, eagle. And then open it up to star. Let the arms and legs open wide, a balanced star. And then bring the foot down, release. We'll take it on the other side all the weight now to the other leg and come into your tree posture on this side. Feel the weight happening in the feet. Use the arms for a little balance. Lift the hips up out of the hip socket. Breathing. And then gently soften the standing leg as the, uh, the top leg comes over. And that same arm comes underneath for eagle. Holding an eagle for a breath or two. And then unfolding into our balanced star. And release. Okay, we'll take that one more time on each side, just practicing the balance. That can be very challenging and sometimes we get a little bit more confident with practice. So all the weight on that first leg again. Bring yourself into tree, breathing for two. One. Transitioning into eagle, breathing for three, two, one, unfold into star for three, two, one, and release, cleansing breath, all the way to the other leg. Coming into your tree for two, one, coming into eagle, three, two, one, open into star, two more, and release and shake out anything that's holding tension. Beautiful. Okay, let's come to the top of our mat and find a little flow practice this evening. So just feel the weight of your feet landing on the mat. Feel the length coming through the body and the breath in the body. Stacking your joints, letting the heels be heavy and pushing away from each other, the hips engaged, the glutes squeezed, Shoulders back and down. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, take a side bend to the right. Inhale, tall. Exhale, left. 
Inhale, tall. Exhale, right. Inhale, and left. Inhale, release in a swan dive, coming to a forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold and step back on the right, bringing the right knee down to the mat. Both hands go to the sky, let the hips sink a little. Lift the heart, and then exhale, bring both hands to the inside of that left foot for a gecko posture. And just feel your hips sinking to whatever degree is comfortable for you. Then walk your hips back, get a hurdler stretch here, draw the toes back, lengthen up the back of the leg, and then gently walk it forward. Bring that right hand up onto the left knee and sweep the left arm back, coming into a twist. And release the hands to the mat. Step the left foot back to meet the right, coming to your plank posture, taking your flow with knees down, elbows in, chest and chin. Inhale, roll the cobra up. Exhale, push it to down dog. Inhale to plank. Let the left knee come down. Bring the right foot forward. And bring both hands to the inside of that right foot. Let the hips sink in that gecko posture. A breath or two there. And then draw that right hip back and the right toes, getting a good stretch on the back of the leg. Walk the hands up, bring the hands up to the sky. Lift the heart. Bring the left hand to the right knee and sweep the right arm back open in your twi twist. Bringing both hands to frame the foot, tuck the back toes, and on the exhale, step to forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep it up to the top. And release a little empty coat sleeves there just to release any tension building in the body and coming back to your mountain posture and I'm going to switch sides so you get to see a little bit different side of me each time we'll take a little another little flow now and this one will be a B series so we'll start with the chair so find your mountain posture your feet parallel to the long edge of the mat Feel the weight in the heels. Reach the hands behind you a little bit. And then as you exhale, soften the knees and the hips. Bring the heart up. Come into your chair. Breathing for three, two, one. And exhale. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Feel that spine get super long. Tailbone to crown. Exhale, soften and step back to your plank. Now you can always take a flow here or skip a flow. Knees, chest, chin or chaturanga. Inhale to cobra or up dog. And exhale, come to down dog. Inhale your left foot up. Bend the knee and stack the hips. And then bring that left foot forward between the hands. Drop the back foot into a uh, two o'clock facing, two lanes of traffic, and rise to warrior one. Feel the feet pressing away from each other. Lift in the heart. Fair bit of strength in our warrior poses, so feel that strength in your legs. Bring your hands to your hips. Draw that left hip back so that leg straightens. Then make yourself nice and tall, and on the exhale, start folding at the hip. And you'll feel the hamstring and the calf getting that stretch as you float your heart forward towards the knee. A little micro bend in the knee can be helpful to keep it comfortable. Just breathing with that. And then bring that knee forward and walk your hands down to the mat in that gecko posture. Lift the back heel, let the hips sink a little, 
plant the right hand down and take the left hand to the sky in that dragonfly twist. I always feel that stretch in the outer left hip here. And then bring the left hand down. The left elbow lands on the knee. The right heel lands out at nine o'clock, toes at three o'clock. Come up to extended side angle. Reach for the sky, arm over the ear, and then sweep it back for warrior two. One lane of traffic. So if you feel like your feet are not quite in that lane of traffic, you can move them there. Let the arms float out into a nice parallel to the floor position. Breathing for two more. Rotate the palm up and come to your proud warrior. Reaching for the sky and the earth. Sweep the back arm up as you lift the back heel, coming to crescent lunge. Heart is lifted, arms are lifted. Exhale, fold the hands to the mat, frame the foot. Step your left foot back to meet your right. And then take or skip flow. Flow is a little work that we do on the mat. And you choose when it's right for you. It engages a lot of the core and the shoulders, so think about whether or not you need that practice. Inhale your right foot up and bring it forward between your hands. Coming into a warrior one position on this side. So the back toes are facing to about 10 o'clock, two lanes of traffic. Keep that right knee right over the ankle. Bring the hands to the hips and then draw that right hip back. So you lengthen out that leg and then float the heart forward, keeping a nice long leg, little softness in the knee, slowly and gently. Letting that stretch happen. Breathing. Bring the knee forward. Place the right hand on that knee. The left hand on the mat. Lift the back heel. And take your dragonfly twist. As your heart turns towards the right knee, try and lift the left kneecap up the leg. One or two breaths here. And then bring your right arm down, plant the elbow on the knee, turn the back heel to uh, nine o'clock position, toes at, oh, to the three o'clock position, toes at nine o'clock, and then lift your arm up, extended side angle. Arm over the ear if you'd like. And then gently sweeping it back, coming into your warrior two. Two or three breaths here. Feel the energy between the two feet, really pushing away from each other. Let the legs really be engaged. Front hand rotates up, proud warrior. Two breaths here. Feel the breath in the low belly. Exhale, draw the navel in. And now taking the back hand. Sweep it forward as the back heel lifts, coming into your crescent lunge, facing the top of your mat. Couple breaths here. Exhale, fold to frame the foot. And step your right foot back to meet your left. We take one more flow here, or skip and just go straight to down dog. Three to five breaths in your down dog or drop back to child's pose, whatever is right for you. We always want to honor the voice inside of our bodies that's helping us know the practice that we need. Inhale as you gaze between the thumbs. Exhale, step it forward. Inhale for a half lift. 
Exhale and fold, soften the knees, reach behind you and sweep into your chair. Breathing for three, two, one. Push it up and release. Okay, let a little tension go. Make sure you're breathing as you practice. Always want to be breathing, letting that breath in and out. It's important for our, our practice and for our physical practice, but also for our mental practice. It really helps release tension, release that autonomic nervous system, activating the parasympathetic nervous system. Okay, settling yourself back into your top of your mat. I'm going to start over here again. We've got one more flow tonight. Um, also starting with a B, uh, sun salutation B, and we'll start with a chair. So settle for a moment in your mountain posture. Feel the tallness in your spine. Find the breath in your body, and that narrowing of the back of the throat as you hold ujjayi breath. Let your attention and your weight settle into your heels. Reach a little behind you and sweep into your chair. Bring both hands to prayer. Slide the right elbow over the right knee or out to the outside of the left knee and take your prayer twist. Exhale here. Inhale, sweep back into your chair. Exhale into a prayer twist on the other side. Inhale, return to chair. Exhale and fold. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale and fold. Step back for a plank. And then take or skip your flow here. Inhale, coming to up dog or cobra. Exhale, push it back to down dog. We'll start with our left foot, raise it to the sky. Exhale, bring it forward between the hands. We're in a runner's lunge, two lanes of traffic. Press the feet away from each other and rise to crescent lunge. Settle in your crescent, back heel lifted. Draw in the navel with the exhale. Lift the pelvic floor. Transitioning to warrior one. Drop the back heel. Option for temple fingers. Lift the heart, lift the gaze. Keep pushing the feet away from each other. Stay sturdy. Engage that core. Draw the navel up and in. These are powerful poses teaching the core of you how to work. Release the hands, bring them to the hip, straighten the knee, and then soften the knee and walk your hands down to the mat, coming into that gecko posture. Lift the back heel. Let the hips sink just a bit. Then bring the left elbow to the left knee and drop into your extended side angle. Right toes out to nine o'clock. Arm goes over the ear. Sweep it back for warrior two. Two breaths here. Let the shoulders soften. Keep the core engaging. Proud warrior. Think of always moving right from the core of you, right from just a little below the navel. Transitioning now to reverse triangle, straightening that front knee, lengthen through that top arm. Feet are pressing away from each other. Keep the footing stable and slowly from your core, transition into triangle. So the left hand comes down, the right hand comes up. Trikonasana, triangle posture. 
can always bring the hand to any position on the side of the leg outside of the knee, not on the knee. Bring the top hand down, grab a block if you'd like, and bring it to the inside of that left foot. Lift the back heel, take it to 12, uh, 6 o'clock. We're going to take pyramid pose here. So you might want to come into a runner's lunge by bending the knee, lifting the heart, and then draw that left hip back and really take a nice deep pyramid. Lengthen the back of that front leg. Soften the heart towards the knee. Option to use a black, uh, block or bring your hands to the mat. One more breath here. Walk the hands over the top of the block and bring them out to a tripod and come to your standing split. Lift the back foot, nose to the knee, and lifting out of your hip. And bring the back foot back down again. Set your block aside. Step the left foot back to meet the right. And then take or skip flow, whatever is right for you. And exhale, meet me in down dog. Inhale, raise the right foot up. And bring it forward between the hands. We'll take these postures on the other side. Press the feet away from each other as you rise into your crescent lunge. Feel the energy between the two feet pressing away. Legs very engaged. Then we'll drop the back heel, coming to warrior one. Two or three breaths here. Focus on the navel, draw it in and up. Bring the hands to the hips, straighten that front knee, and then bring it back into the bend. Walk the hands down to the inside of that right foot, lifting the back heel. Come into your gecko posture, lowering the hips just a bit. Always welcome to use a block here for gecko. Then bring the right elbow to the right knee. Left toes out to the side. Raise up for your extended side angle. Arm over the ear. Feel that back heel really engaging and then that line of energy right through the whole body out the fingertips. Sweeping back to your warrior two. Feel the core of you moving from the core, holding yourself steady right from the center of you. Let the arms be soft, the gaze soft, the face soft, breathing. Rotate the front palm up, come to your reverse warrior. Breathing here. Feel the posture from the inside. Right here at the Dantian, lift up. Lift up as you straighten that front leg, coming into your reverse triangle, reaching for the sky. Keep the foot, the feet steady as you rotate the arms over, Trikonasana. And bring that left hand down onto a block as we come into pyramid. Lift the back heel, let it go to six o'clock. Straighten the front leg by drawing that right hip back. Option to bend that knee and come into your runner's lunge for a moment. Sometimes these counter poses can really help us find the right space for the pose. So draw your hip back and come into your pyramid posture for a breath or two. And then walking your hands over the top of the block, come into your tripod standing split, lifting the left foot up. 
keep lifting out of that right hip. And then slowly letting the left foot back down. Step the right foot back to meet the left. Coming into your plank. And taking your flow here. Knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga. Inhale to cobra or up dog. Exhale to down dog. Three to five breaths here. Option to always come to child's pose as well at any time in your practice. When you're ready, float yourself forward into plank. Bring the knees down and the chest and the chin down. We're gonna take a few cobras. So hands soft underneath the shoulders and really engage your back as you lift the heart up. Exhale it down. Two more, inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Hands underneath the forehead. And then bring your hands along your hips, fingers pointed towards the feet. Draw the elbows in. Let the neck be very long. Reach through the toes, and then the slightest little lift in the heels and the heart. Breathing for three, two, one, and let the forehead come to the mat, cleansing breath. The hands can go behind the sacrum, that's great. If not, keep them alongside the hips, either one is okay. Breathing here, and you're, when you're ready, that little bit of lift again as you come into Shalabhasana and draw the hands down towards the heels, breathing. and release. Some of these very small movements can be very intense when they involve those muscles around the core. Hands underneath the shoulders. Lift the hips up. Walk your knees forward and start to come back onto your back. As we come into a little bit more of our core practice. So reaching the legs long, and then bring your hands into sunshine fingers. Inhale, roll the heart up. Float the heels by squeezing your glutes into this low boat. Breathing here, or an option to roll up into a ball and then come back out to boat. One more breath. And release. Bring the heels back up behind the glutes. We're gonna get ready for a bridge. So find your breath. Let the heels land. Roll the shoulders under a bit. Find the breath in the low belly. Exhale, push the small of the back towards the mat. Inhale, fill the belly. Exhale, push it down and start to roll the spine up. Roll the shoulders under. Draw the knees a bit towards each other. Lift the chin and breathe. Engage the pelvic floor, pubic bone to tailbone. Two more breaths. One more. Gently unwind the spine, vertebrae by vertebrae, drawing that tailbone towards the heels. Bring your knees in towards the chest. Rock the hips left and right. And then when you're ready, slide your thumbs underneath the sacrum. Let the feet go out at 45 and take a horizontal scissor kick. Option to lift the heart or keep the neck back and comfortable. Breathing no matter what. Nice and slow, inhale out, 
Exhale, cross. Inhale out, other foot on top. Keep pushing the small of the back towards the earth. Three more. One more. Bring the knees in, plant the heels, and prepare for another bridge. Find your breath. Roll the shoulders under just a bit. And roll up into your bridge. Breathing here. One more breath. And gently bring the spine down to the earth and bring the knees in towards the chest. And draw some good circles on the back with holding the knees and then taking them in the other direction. And then take your right leg over the top of the left, slide your hands down to the ankles shoelace posture or gomukasana and draw the hips of the ankles towards the hips and the option is to lift the heart towards the knees knees towards the heart and release and switch bringing the left leg on top of the right slide the hands down to the ankles as you draw the ankles towards the hips option to lift the heart and breathe Omukasana. I think that's called cow face pose. This is a reclined version of it. And gently releasing. The legs come apart again and this time bring your hands down to your shins and rock a little left and right. Getting the back nice and comfortable. Plant the heels down, and if you have your block nearby, lift the hips up and slide your block underneath as you roll your shoulders under. Bring your knees in towards your chest and float your heels up for this restorative posture, legs up the wall. Bring your attention to your breath. Really let the exhales be complete. Your feet drift apart. Letting go of the breath is so important to make room for the next breath, to let in the next breath. Let it in, let it flow, and let go. Just like in life, our experiences come to us, pass through, and move on. Bring the heels back together. And then the knees into the chest. And let the heels drop behind the block and the soles of the feet come together. And the knees drift apart a little bit. And your arms can go up in cactus for a floating goddess posture on the block. You can take the block out if you prefer. Rocking the knees left and right. Breathing, letting go. Bring the knees back up, press into the heels, lift the block out from underneath you. And then we're gonna take a reclined eagle. So bring the right leg over the top of the left. You can do a double wrap if you like, or just a single wrap. Arms out into a T. And let both knees drift off to the left as your gaze goes to the right. See if you can let go into that spinal twist just a bit, breathing with it. And letting the muscles gently stretch and release. And 
then bringing your left hand underneath the legs and bringing them back through center. And this time bring the left leg on top of the right. Arms out into a T and gently let both knees drift off to the right as the gaze comes to the left. Just keep releasing that spine, the muscles around the spine as much as is available to you. So your shoulders are on the mat, knees off to the right and breathing. The breath can really help us let go. And bring the hand underneath the legs and bring them back to the center. And unwind the legs. And let your arms and legs start to unfold. I'm not sure if you're hearing the sirens in my neighborhood, but sometimes those are present. Whatever is present in your neighborhood or in your environment, just letting it all be. Let it be. Come here into your own experience bringing yourself into your body, feeling the weight of the body as it rests here on the mat, and welcome yourself home, home to your life, this moment of your life, with the arms and legs that be heavy. Nice full breath in. On the exhale, really release from shoulders to toes. Doing that again, a nice full breath in. And release. Bringing the attention to the breath and letting the breath in. Letting it flow out and letting go, letting go of what you no longer need. Let it in, let it flow and let it go. Softening the face the eyes, the jaw, and just resting here for a few breaths. Give yourself permission to truly rest. Begin to bring your attention into your body, just sensing it, even though it may be still. Finding a little movement, perhaps, in fingers and toes, arms and legs. Drinking in a fuller breath, 
feeling the breath move the body. Lengthening out in a stretch if that feels good. Draw the knees in towards the chest. Comfort the low back a bit. And then slowly in your time and in your way, meet me in a seated posture to close our practice time together. Thank you for joining me in this small community to share yoga practice together. Take time to check in with our own experience and care for it. I hope you have a beautiful week. Om Shanti. Namaste. Thank you, friends, for joining me. I'm glad that uh, we get a little time to practice yoga together.